Welcome to our bustling urban jungle where the wild meets the concrete. You know that millions of people live in cities, but what about city animals? Just like us, they've learned to adapt and thrive in the heart of human civilization. From swift flying birds to clever mammals, these are the surprising lives of animals that call our cities home. Want a souvenir of our journey? Check out our fact-filled activity sheets for sale now in the Socratica Foundation store. Find the links below. Pigeons are gray birds commonly found pecking the ground in the city. You can also see them sitting on statues. You might think they're dull, but look again. Some of their feathers can look purple or even green in the sunlight. Pigeons are really smart. They can recognize themselves in mirrors and have an excellent sense of direction. Pigeons usually band together in groups. A group of pigeons is called a flock, but when they're traveling together in the air, we can call them a flight. Squirrels love to leap, sometimes up to 10 times their body length. These energetic rodents have unmistakable bushy tails. Their tails are helpful in many ways, including as protection from the elements, like a built-in umbrella, and even keeping them balanced. Here's a special talent. Squirrels are able to make their way down a tree head first because they can rotate their hind feet to keep a good grip on tree trunks. They bury nuts in the ground for later. Can they really remember where they've hidden them all? What do you think? If you thought the squirrel's tail was impressive, raccoons must win a prize. So stripy. They also look like they're wearing a mask over their eyes. These easy to recognize markings earn raccoons the nickname, the ring-tailed bandit. They're also thought of as bandits because they're good at stealing. Raccoons have very sensitive five-fingered paws that they use to open things like garbage cans. Raccoons love to explore the city at night when it's quiet. And when they find something good, raccoons are also known to wash their food before eating. So civilized. House sparrows are small brown and gray birds that love to hop around in trees and bushes. These birds usually live between two and five years in the wild, although when raised in captivity, they can live up to 14 years. Raised in captivity means an animal is raised by humans in a cage or small area. For example, animals at the zoo are considered to be raised in captivity. House sparrows can live much longer in captivity because they aren't getting hunted by other animals. We can help the wild sparrows by filling bird feeders with seeds they like to eat. House sparrows also take dust baths, which might sound a little dirty, but it actually helps keep their feathers healthy and clean. Meet the possum, the only marsupial found in North America. Marsupials are a special kind of mammal that give birth to live young that mothers usually carry around in a pouch on their belly. Possums have a long hairless tail and a pointy snout, but the real jaw dropper, they have a set of 50 teeth. You wanna hear something else impressive? Possums sometimes fake their own deaths. When being hunted by a dangerous predator, they will pretend to be dead and trick predators. They have been known to do this for up to four hours. Wow. Crows are smart birds with shiny black feathers. They are easily confused with another big black bird, the raven. But there are some important differences. Ravens have larger curved beaks and usually travel in pairs. Both kinds of birds are known for their cleverness. Crows are so clever, they use tools to find food. Crows have been seen using sticks, leaves, and even their own feathers to catch insects and other food from hard to reach places. Not only can they use tools, but crows also have excellent memories and can remember locations where they've hidden food or run into threats. Crows are a social bird and are often found in groups called a murder of crows. 
In the hustle and bustle of the city, you might spot stray dogs, which are dogs that don't have a home or owner. These city animals come in all shapes and sizes, from tiny terriers to big mutts. Stray dogs are known for traveling in groups. This is because they can help each other find food and safety. Think stray dogs are just wanderers? Think again. These canine commuters have been known to hop on public transportation. While these stray dogs may be cute, it's important to remember that they shouldn't be approached like a pet. They are still wild at heart. Feral cats are wild and independent animals that can often be found in cities around the world. These cats are not like the cuddly pets we have at home. They've learned to survive on their own. It's important to respect the space and needs of feral cats. Approaching them can be stressful for them and may not be safe for us. Feral cats are also skilled hunters and help keep the city's rat population in check. Speaking of rats, the Norway rat is one of the most common city-dwelling animals you might encounter. Otherwise known as brown rats, these rodents are famous for making homes in urban areas. Norway rats have very powerful noses that help them find spare food all over our cities. Norway rats are very social animals and like to live in big groups called colonies. It's important for us to pick up our trash and keep our cities clean so colonies of rats don't get too comfortable. Next up, we have the mouse. These little guys are similar to rats, but they have their differences too. Mice are usually smaller, have shorter tails, and have larger ears. Mice are known for having lots of babies. Mice babies are called pups. A female mouse can have anywhere from 40 to 60 pups in her lifetime. Holy cow! Mice are very curious animals and like to explore new environments. Meet the European starling, a charming little bird that you can find all over the world. These birds might not look very exciting at first, but they're actually quite talented birds. European starlings can recreate bird calls of other birds and even more random sounds like flowing water or rattling. These birds are social and can usually be found in large groups flying around the sky. They even fly in cool patterns, which often look like shape-shifting clouds. This special flight pattern is called murmuration. Wow, impressive. Another bird you might recognize in the city is the Canada goose. It's not uncommon to find these large birds around city parks, ponds, and golf courses. Canada geese have black necks and heads and brown bodies. The Canada goose is a loud bird, and their famous honking sounds are hard to miss. What's truly amazing is these birds are also excellent flyers. They can fly for thousands of miles in order to escape cold winter weather and have some fun in the sun. Here's a bird that's hard to miss, the mallard duck. This quacking bird comes in two colors. Males have vibrant green heads and females have slick brown heads. These ducks love to float on water surface in ponds and creeks. Did you know that these birds get most of their food by tipping forward in the water to catch plants and bugs? The mallard duck is more than just a swimmer. You can find them flying high in the sky in a very cool V-shaped formation. Want to remember the special colors of the mallard duck? Get out your colored pencils and markers and capture all these city animals in our coloring pages. Follow the links below for our activity pages that keep the smart fun going after the video. But we're not finished yet. Look, here's another city animal. Better known as seagulls, gulls are white birds often spotted in coastal cities. But did you know they can thrive far from the sea too? Gulls are like a city's cleanup crew because they love to snack on scraps and leftover food in our cities. Gulls are really good flyers. Guess what? They can fly for hours without flapping their wings a single time. This is called gliding. Want to hear something else impressive? Gulls can live up to 20 years. So, the next time you see a gull, remember, it could be quite a bit older than you. Last, but certainly not least, we have the American Robin. These birds have a bright red chest, making them easy to spot in many cities. 
These birds are wonderful foragers, which means they hunt and collect their food. They eat all sorts of things, including insects, worms, and berries. The American robin is also an excellent singer. They use their songs to communicate with each other and protect their homes. Keep an eye out for these colorful flyers because they bring both color and song to our cities. You might have noticed this little animal scurrying around then diving out of sight. It's the cockroach. Mr. Cockroach here will appear in his own video soon, all about the bugs that live in the city with us. Can you think of some city bugs? Stay tuned. So there you have it, an amazing animal adventure through the urban jungle. Remember, even in the heart of the city, we share our environment with these incredible creatures. So the next time you spot a city animal on your way to school or in your local park, take a moment to appreciate the wonders of urban wildlife right in our own backyard. Now it's time to watch another great video from Socratica Kids. You get to pick. And don't forget, check out our coloring pages and activity sheets made just for you, linked below. Did you know that these videos are made possible by our donors? The Socratica Foundation is committed to making free educational resources for kids. Donate today.